Mindset, a daily dose of practical wit and wisdom with a professional educator and trainer, Amazon best-selling author, United States Marine, television and radio host, Paul G. Markle. Each episode will focus on positive and productive ways to strengthen your mindset and help you improve your relationships, career goals, and overall well-being. Please welcome your host, Paul G. Markle. Okay, let's get this rolling. Let's get Morning Mindset started one more time. And welcome back. I am your host, Paul Markle. Thank you for joining me and for being a part of the Morning Mindset Experience. Yes, indeed. So if we want to live a positive and productive life, you do, I do, we do, we should at least, right? One of the ways that we can lead a positive and productive life is to exercise effective communication. Now, this communication could be verbal. It could be written. It could actually be hand gestures. It could be expressions. There's a lot of types of communication. But regardless of the type of communication, whether it's verbal or if it's video or it's written or what have you, there are three basic aspects to communication. And when communication breaks down between you and another person or between you and a group or between your boss and you or what have you, if there is a problem with communication, if there is a miscommunication, well, you have a problem in in one of the three aspects. And the aspects are very simply the sender, the message, and the the receiver. Did you get all that? The sender, the message, and the receiver. There are three aspects of communication. And when I was going through leadership training many moons ago and instructor training many moons ago, we had to focus on these. Okay, so the sender, that and in this case, that would be you. Are you delivering the message? Are you delivering the message in a manner which the receiver can get to. All right. For instance, really super simple. Uh, If your mom or dad does not know how to text or use texting, uh, I have a a, a father who does not text. He does not have the ability to text. He doesn't use his mobile phone for texting. He has a flip phone and he opens it and turns it on when he wants to make a call. And that's it. So if my uh, my desire was to send him a text, it doesn't matter what the message is, he's not going to get it because he doesn't have the ability, right? So as the sender, I need to make sure that my method of delivering the message is a good method, all right? And for instance, reaching you. When I decided to do the Morning Mindset podcast, Uh, I decided to use the iTunes podcast format instead of video. We were doing video previously, but the problem with the video was that not everybody could or would be able to take the time to watch it. I know you can take video and you can just listen, but uh, I understood that the best way to deliver my message would be through an audio podcast format. So as the sender, I made that decision. Now, the message, the next part is the message. What are you trying to say? What information are you trying to deliver? Or are you even trying to deliver information? Maybe it's an interrogative. That means a question. Maybe you're trying to seek information from the person who's receiving your message. Maybe your message is actually a question. Are you phrasing that message properly? Are you phrasing it in a way and stating it in a way so that the receiver can understand it? Now, the receiver on the other end, the person who's getting your message, so you're sending it, you've got the message, and the receiver. Now, sometimes it doesn't matter, and I've found this, ladies and gentlemen, trust me, I have found this quite often in my mission to educate the masses, in my mission to deliver information via video or written word or audio, spoken word or what have you, 
that I will choose a method, I will deliver a message the best to the best of my ability, what I think is the best of my ability. And the receiver doesn't get it. They don't understand it. They don't realize it. Now you say, well, man, well, if, if the receiver, and this is <laughs> this is the funny part, when the receiver doesn't understand the message that you are delivering as a sender, what they will do is they will turn it around and they will say to you, you didn't send me the message right. You didn't communicate it correctly. Now, that may be true, but it may also be not true as well. Often, as the receiver of the message, we allow our prejudices to distort the message, or we will infuse our own personal emotions and feelings into the message. I have encountered this so many times that I can't even possibly count. I have encountered it so many times. It's one of those, if I had a dime for every time someone missed the point or deliberately didn't, uh, didn't get it, I would be a millionaire. It's not always the sender and the message that are the problem. Sometimes the receiver doesn't get the message because instead of just taking the message for what it is, they view the message through their own prism of emotion and prejudice. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And that happens quite often. Uh, and I know that uh, I've been the victim of the, the prejudice of the receiver. I'll deliver a message that I believe is pretty clear and concise, and the receiver won't get it, or they will push back and say, that's wrong. It's, you know, I don't get it. I don't see what you're saying. Or they'll respond in a way that I never expected them to respond. And I'm like, why in the world are they responding that way? And then I have to realize that the reason that they're responding to my message in that way is because they've viewed the message based upon their own personal feelings and prejudices. Now, some would tell you, they're like, well, if that is the case, Paul, you need to craft your message in a different way so that that person can receive it better or they're better able to receive it. Aha. But if the message is a broad message, let's say you are the boss, right? Or you are a leader or you are in charge of multiple people, four, five, six, ten, a hundred Maybe you're in the military and you have a platoon or a company or a battalion. You're delivering the message. Now, you cannot craft that message for every individual listener. It's impossible. Heck, if you're delivering a message to three people in a team, you can't change, alter, and craft that message for each individual person based on their own feelings and experiences. It's up to them to receive the message. Okay. So communication, why wow, you're like, man, I never thought about that. That's, that's a lot of aspects. Yes, indeed it is. Now, if you're delivering a message to one specific person, then you can indeed craft your message uh, for that person individually. But you can't always, you can't do it for groups and, and, and uh, large bodies of people. So what you have to do as the sender is you have to break the message down to the most, I guess, user-friendly version that you can come up with. But if we want to be able to deliver communication, if we want to live a positive and productive life, we need to be able to communicate as effectively as possible. And anytime there's a breakdown in communication, the breakdown is either the sender or the message or the receiver or a combination thereof. And if you're having problems, if you're having trouble getting through to a person or a group of people, what you may need to do is go back and examine it. Say, okay, where in, you know, where does the problem lie? Wherein does the problem lie? Does it lie with the sender? Does it lie with the message? Or does it lie with the receiver? And once you figure that out, you can make it better and so that everyone can get it. 
All right, that's it for today. I am your host, Paul Markle. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll talk to you again real soon. Thank you for spending time with us today. To get show notes, submit a topic request, and for more from your host, Paul G. Markle, visit morningmindsetpodcast.com. That's morningmindsetpodcast.com. Please leave a review for this podcast on your favorite podcast player. We appreciate your time and effort, and we look forward to reading your honest feedback.